first course introductory entomology here we shall study about the phylum arthropoda its characters and what are the different classes which comes under this phylum arthropod then the different uh, body divisions and the first body division head we will see the different appendages and the modifications which are very much attached to the first division besides this we shall also see the structure and functions of the body wall the general characters of the phylum arthropoda artho means the jointed and poda means the legs so the animals which uh, have the jointed foots they come under the phylum arthropod and the important characters of the phylum are they have the segmented body and they have the renewable chitinous exoskeleton body cavity is known as hemo seal which is filled with the blood which is technically known as hemolymph body is bilateral symmetrical it means the body can be divided into two equal halves the heart is present on the dorsal side whereas the nerve cord is present on the ventral side of the body the classification of arthropods or the phylum arthropoda it is divided into two class two subphylums chelicerata and the mandibulata chelicerata includes three classes whereas the subphylum mandibulata includes six classes and out of these the class insecta is one of the important class besides the class insecta the important class under the chelicerata is arachnida where you will find the scorpions spiders ticks and mites and the important characters of the class arachnida is the body is divided into two parts it means cephalothorax as well as the abdomen chelicerae are present it means the stylet like or very fine needle like structures they are present beside this the important character of this class is the presence of four pairs of legs it means they are eight legged animals similarly the class insecta which is also known as hexapoda here the body is divided into three parts head thorax and abdomen starting from anterior to the posterior part head is important and the anterior most part which carries the two important appendages as antenna and the mouth parts the thorax is the another division of the body of the insect which is the middle part and third part is the abdomen which is the posterior part and respiration in case of class insecta or insect takes place through the trachea which are the respiratory tubes and that's why they are special or unique in nature and known as tracheate arthropod now coming to the body wall which is also known as integument or exoskeleton or outer covering it is made up of three layers cuticle epidermis and basement membrane and out of these three the epidermis which is also known as hypodermis it is the only layer out of the three main layers it is the active layer it means all the functions which are required by a living organism they are present in this layer and this is the middle layer similarly the cuticle is the outermost layer 
विच शेड फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम वेन द इंसेक्ट पासिस फ्रॉम वन स्टेज टू दी अदर एंड द बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन इट्स ऑनली सर्व एज ए बेस क्यूटिकल इज मेड अप ऑफ काइटीन एंड द प्रोटीन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटीन्स आर प्रजेंट एंड द काइटीन इज द मेन कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बॉडी वाल now the first division which is head it is the anterior most region of the body it is made up of six segments which can only be seen when the insect is developing out of the six segments only four segments can be seen during the adult stage otherwise the two other segments pre antennary and the intercalary segments they can only be seen during the embryonic development the important areas present on the head they include frons vertex clypeus geni occipit epicranial suture epicranial suture is a inverted y shape structure present in the middle part of the head beside this if you look into the figure of the head the other parts includes the post occipit post geni compound eyes ocelli and antennae there is a difference between compound eyes and ocelli is simple in case of compound eyes number of lenses are present which are technically known as omitidia and singular is omitidium whereas in case of ocelli only the single lens is present whereas in case of compound eyes number of lenses are present another part which is present on the head antenna which is supposed to be sensory in uh, nature or sensory in function though there are many functions of the antennae now head is attached to the body in different positions say for example hypogonathus prognathus and ophistogonathus in case of hypogonathus which is common in case of grasshopper the head is attached vertically whereas in case of the prognathus head is attached horizontally and the best example is beetle similarly ophistogonathus type of head attachment is common in case of bugs or plant feeding bugs here the head is attached vertically or head is bent downward which is very much clear in the diagrams which are shown on your screen the first appendage of the head is antenna which is also known as feelers organ they can feel the humidity changes they can feel through these appendage smells variation in temperatures they can also detect the chemicals with the help of these feeler organs and the antenna is made up of three parts escape pedicel and flagellum and out of this flagellum is largest or longest part of the antenna and it is segmented now various types of antennae or modifications are present in different types of insects for example filiform type of antennae which is also known as thread like antennae and the best example is grasshopper and the characteristic feature of this antennae is that the segments are more or less uniform in size if we talk about the moniliform type of antennae which is also termed as beaded like antennae here the segments are round in shape like wise the bipectinate and pectinate type of antennae are also found in different types of insects in case of pectinate the segments possesses lateral processes on one side whereas in case of bipectinate these processes are present on both sides of 
the segments. Now, if we look into the genuclate type of antennae, which is also termed as elbowed type of antennae, the first segment that is escape, it is elongated and flagellum always makes an angle and that is why it is known as elbowed angle and it is very common in case of ants and honeybees. Similarly, in case of house fly, the modification is termed as aristate type which is very small antennae and only three segments are present and out of the, the third segment is very much enlarged and bears bristles or very fine hair like structures which are known as arista and that is why they are known as aristate type of antennae. Now coming to the mouth parts, various types of mouth parts are found in different types of insects and the primitive type or the common type is biting and chewing type of mouth part and the best example is grasshopper or cockroaches. And this type of mouth part is also common in isopatera and coleoptera orders of the insects. This is a typical type of mouth part and it is made up of different subcomponents say for example, the first component is labrum which is also known as upper lip. It is supposed to be the first device which close the uh, which close or open the mouth. Secondly, it is also divided into labrum epipharynx in certain species of the insect. Below the labrum or the upper lip we find a pair of mandibles which are used for cutting and grinding of the food and this help in grinding or cutting the solid food particles into smaller particles. Beside this the other components includes the maxilla which is divided into sub parts as cardo stipes and palfifers and maxillary palps. Hypopharynx is also known as the tongue though true tongue is not present in case of insect, but it is represented by a flap like structure which is present in between the labrum and the labium and the labium is also known as the lower lip and helps in closing and opening of the mouth cavity which is also known as oral cavity. This diagram shows the different parts of the biting and chewing type of mouth parts. The details of each sub part labium, maxilla, mandibles and the labium. You can see the different sub units of each part of a biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Another important part of mouth which is modified is piercing and sucking type of mouth parts. This mouth part is made up of two parts piercing and then sucking. It means first the insect will peer out the surface from where the plant material or plant fluids or cell sap or blood has to be taken and then the second part is the suction. This piercing and sucking type of mouth part is also a modification of the primitive type of mouth part that is the biting and chewing type of mouth part. Here the labium 
which is modified into beak like structure and it helps in holding both type of both pairs of stylets which are made up of mandibles and maxilla it means in this case piercing and sucking type of mouth parts mandibular stylets and maxillary stylets are present it means the mandible and maxilla they are modified into needle like structure which are hollow from inside and they are used for sucking and piercing of the plant juices or the blood as the case may be hypopharynx is also modified into a pump like structure which is known as pharyngeal pump and it is located in the neck region of the insect labrum is very much reduced into a flap like structure and present at the base of the labium which is modified into rostrum or beak like structure and this type of mouth parts piercing and sucking type of mouth parts they are present in bugs as well as mosquitoes bugs are the plant feeders whereas the mosquitoes are the blood feeders if we look into the difference between the piercings and sucking type of mouth parts as found in bugs and the mosquitoes then we will see that two additional stylets are present in case of mosquitoes and in case of bugs only four stylets are present whereas in case of the mosquito six stylets two additional stylets are there and they are modification of the hypopharynx and labrum epipharynx it means the labrum epipharynx and the hypopharynx they are also modified into stylet like structure or needle like structure which are very much apparent in the figures shown on your computer screen another important modification of the mouth parts is chewing and lapping type of mouth parts which are very common in honey bees and these type of mouth parts they are used for collecting the nectars pollens etc now here the mandibles they are very smooth and they are present on the sides of the labrum that is the upper lip and they are mainly used for molding the wax the wax is molded through the mandibles similarly the labium in case of labium the paraglossa and the glossa which are technically known as tongue they are provided with labial palps or hair like structures which are present on the labium they are known as labial palps two types of palps as we have seen in the biting and chewing type of mouth parts labial as well as the maxillary palps are present now the maxilla and labial palps they form a tube like structure which is and closed in a another modified tube made up of glossa and these maxilla and labial as they move in and up in this fine tube which is modification of the glossa another important mouth part is sponging type of mouth part which is also known as mucoid type of mouth part and it is very common in case of house flies this mouth part 
is made up of a important tube like structure which is known as proboscis and proboscis is divided into three parts the basal part which is known as rostrum middle part which is known as hostellum and the distal part is known as labella so this tube is very important and the tip of this tube or proboscis is known as labella and here a cup like structure or spoon like structure is formed in which the food material is collected and then it is thrown into the alimentary canal with the help of the pharyngeal pump or stomodial pump now as we know the house fly it may feed on the solid food also say for example sugar sugar is a solid material but with the help of the saliva this sugar is dissolved and then sucked with the help of the pharyngeal pump into the alimentary canal siphoning type of modification of mouth part is very much seen in the butterflies and here all the parts except the maxilla and out of the maxilla the gale of the maxilla is modified into a coil type structure which is very much seen in the diagram which is projected on your screen so maxilla well maxilla is modified and out of the maxilla gale part is modified into a coil like structure like the spring of a watch and here also the suction is created with the help of a suctorial pump or pharyngeal pump which is present in the neck region of the body today we have discussed about the phylum arthropoda its characters and different classes which are common in the phylum arthropoda then we have also seen the different layers of the body wall which is also known as integument their functions and the first division of the insect body head its structure its function its composition then the appendages say the antennae and the mouth parts their modification with the examples and the diagrams and finally in the last we have discuss about the siphoning type of mouth part which is very much common in case of the butterflies